like people screaming, running for their lives, blood killing, maiming, kind of bad. Looks like it. Scott. The other night, seeing my dad get hit over the head by Matt, you know, while I'm just lying there and I can't even move, it just... I, I want to help, you know? But I can't do the things that you can do. I can't. It's okay. We're losing, dude. You haven't heard from any of them, have you? How come you're not taking any notes on this? I do my notes after the session. Your memory's that good? How about we get back to you? Styles? I'm fine. Yeah, aside from the not sleeping, the jumpiness, the constant overwhelming, crushing fear that something terrible is about to happen. It's called hypervigilance. The persistent feeling of being under threat. I mean, it's not just a feeling, though. It's, it's like it's a panic attack. You know, like I can't even breathe. Like you're drowning? Yeah. So, if you're drowning, and you're trying to keep your mouth closed until that very last moment, but if you choose to not open your mouth, to not let the water in. You do anyway, it's a reflex. But if you hold off until that reflex kicks in, you have more time, right? Not much time. But more time to fight your way to the surface. I guess. More time to be rescued. More time to be in agonizing pain. I mean, did you forget about the part where you feel like your head's exploding? If it's about survival, isn't a little agony worth it? I mean, what if it just gets worse? What if it's agony now and then... And it's just hell later on? And think about something Winston Churchill once said. If you're going through hell, keep going. Pieces? Half of it's like a dream. Yeah, well guess what? The other half is like a freaking nightmare. I don't care. I can help him. You see, that's the problem. You, you don't care about getting hurt. But you know how I'll feel? I'll be devastated. And if you die, I will literally go out of my freaking mind. You see, death doesn't happen to you, Lydia. It happens to everyone around you, okay? To all the people left standing at your funeral, trying to figure out how they're gonna live the rest of their lives now without you in it. Huh? And look at my face, huh? Come on, you actually think this was meant to hurt me? Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna kill you! You kissed her, Scott, okay? You kissed Lydia. That's my... Like the one girl that I, and you know, the past three hours I've been thinking, it's probably just the full moon. You know, he doesn't even know what he's doing and tomorrow he'll be totally back to normal. He probably won't even remember what a complete dumbass he's been. A son of a bitch, a freaking unbelievable piece of crap friend. She kissed me. What? I didn't kiss her. She kissed me. A lot more, too. You should have seen the way she got her hands all over me. She would have done anything I wanted. Anything! anything, anything. Hey, can't talk, gotta run. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What's wrong? No. Where's your gun? I left it at the station along with my badge. What? It's all right, you know what? We'll, we'll talk about this later. Dad. Don't worry about it. Dad! <sighs> it 
It was decided that the son of the police chief, stealing police property and having a restraining order filed against him by one of the town's most respected attorneys, did not reflect well on the county. They fired you? No, look, it's, it's just a leave of absence. It's, it's temporary. Did they say it was temporary or? Actually, no. You know, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Hey. We're going to be fine. Hey, well, Dad. I don't get it. Why, why aren't you angry at me? I don't know. Maybe I just don't want to feel any worse than I already do by uh, having to yell at my son. about losing and I was I was mouthing off you know the next thing I know I, who was it dad I don't know I didn't even see them really I want descriptions dad come on it's not even that bad I'm calling that school I'm calling I'm gonna personally go down there and I'm gonna pistol whip these little bastards dad I, I said it was okay Why am I wearing black? What are you, an idiot? I just came from a funeral, you know? People wear black at funerals. Dude, chill. It was just chill, a quick... get out of my face. It's you. It's all you. You know, every day I saw her lying in that hospital slowly dying. I thought, how the hell am I supposed to raise this stupid kid on my own? This hyperactive little bastard who keeps ruining my life. It's all you. It's you, Styles. You killed your mother. You hear me? You killed her. And now you're killing me. 